Now, I am sure that all of us have Zoom fatigue at this point. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you probably will at some point. And for however long you've been in shelter in place, maybe it's about nine weeks now, it, for most of us it feels like 90 weeks. And I hope that as you have been trying to just have a as close to a somewhat normal work day with virtual meetings, that you find yourself getting more sleep hours than you are spending hours on Zoom. Zoom fatigue is a real thing. But here are four things that I have been doing that are just super simple and they've been helping us they've been helping us stay engaged they've been making it fun for everybody uh, just as we are having our zoom meetings and the first one is I spy for many of you who have played I spy in a book now you can play I spy on zoom and I, I just love seeing people's homes and apartments that just is inviting in general well try playing I spy with the, the important things that they might have on a shelf in their home or the books that they might have have behind them. It is a lot of fun to play I Spy collectively just in each person's window on their Zoom screen. And then the second one is if I were stranded on an island, what three things would I bring? And this one is a lot of fun as well because I, I mean, I always give the caveat that you can't include a person because that's a given. And people always say, I'm gonna grab my Bible or other books. That's a given too. We all know that we're gonna grab books. But what three things would you run and grab in your house if you were gonna be stranded on an island? And I, I had someone one time grab the aloe vera and they, they showed it to us on the screen and they were like, I need to get my base tan because the first couple of days I'm gonna burn like crazy. And, and it just makes sense and it's a lot of fun. And then the third one's the alphabet game. So um, basically, it, let's say you have six people on your Zoom call each person gets a letter. So one person's A, one person's B, one person's C, and so on. Now, they need to go find two things in their house that they actually have, not hypothetically, that match that letter. So let's say I had B, I would go and grab maybe a baseball bat and a bagel. And then you have to connect them somehow with a story. And you say, okay, so for breakfast, I'm having a bagel and then I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna go uh, play baseball down at the corner. It it's actually can be challenging depending on what letter you have, but it's a lot of fun just to see what people come up with. And then the fourth one um, is actually something that North Point has put on. If you're familiar with physical story cards, uh, they now have put them online. And then they have questions to go with the cards as well. So um, the most basic question that you can ask that always is, is probably one of the most um, inviting questions, one of the most E easiest way just to know what's going on in people's lives is you show them the story cards and then you ask them which card best represents them right now or their mood uh, or their season right now. And so, you know, it could be something as simple as a story card of, of a coffee pot and someone will choose that and say, oh, um, I choose the coffee pot because I'm feeling really tired right now. And then you learn just a little bit more about their life and all of a sudden the Zoom meeting has turned into an opportunity to have a conversation just as if you were across uh, the table with them having a, a literal cup of coffee. And so these are just four simple things uh, that you can do that are just really fun and they break up the Zoom fatigue for as long as your groups are continuing to meet and uh, utilize Zoom for um, the time that, that they have together.